The disease affects many people, 200-300 million in developing countries, particularly children who may acquire the disease by swimming or playing in infected water. Schistomiasis is most commonly found in Asia, Africa and South America, especially in areas where the water contains numerous freshwater snails, which may carry the parasite. The next species of Schistosoma are pathogenic in human beings. Schistosoma mansoni and Schistosoma intercalatum cause intestinal schistosomiasis. Schistosoma hematobium causes urinary schistosomiasis. Schistosoma japonicum and Schistosoma congi cause Asian intestinal schistosomiasis. Schistosomas have a typical trematode vertebrate in vertebrate life cycle, with humans being the definitive host. Parasite eggs are released into the environment from infected individuals, hatching on contact with fresh water to release the free swimming Miracidium. Miracidia infect fresh water snails. Sporocyst produces thousands of new parasites known as Cercaria, which are the larva capable of infecting mammals. Cercaria emerge daily from the snail host dependent on ambient temperature and light. Penetration of the human skin occurs after the cercaria have attached to and explored the skin due to secretion of enzymes. Schistosomolum from skin travels to the lungs, to the liver, 8-10 days. Warm pairs of Schistosoma mansoni and Schistosoma japonicum relocate to the mesenteric or rectal veins. Schistosoma hematobium, schistosomula ultimately migrate from the liver to the periovesical venous plexus of the bladder, ureters and kidneys through the hemorrhoidal plexus. Parasites reach maturity, maturity in 6 to 8 weeks, at which time they begin to produce eggs. Adult Schistosoma mansoni pairs residing in the mesenteric vessels may produce up to 300 eggs per day during their reproductive lives. Schistosoma japonica may produce up to 3,000 eggs per day. Many of the eggs pass through the walls of the blood vessels and through the intestinal wall to be passed out of the body in feces. Schistosoma hematobium X pass through the ureteral or bladder wall and into the urine. Up to half the X released by the warm pairs become trapped in the mesenteric veins or will be washed back into the liver where they will become Logit. Warm pairs can live in the body for an average of four and a half years, but may persist up to 20 years. Schistosomiasis is a chronic disease. Many infections are subclinically symptomatic, with mild anemia and malnutrition being common in endemic areas. Acute schistosomiasis, katayama's fever, may occur weeks after the initial infection, especially by Schistosoma mansoni and Schistosoma japonicum. Manifestations include abdominal pain, cough, diarrhea, azinophilia, extremely high azinophil granulocyte count, fever, fatigue, hepatosplenomegaly, genital sores. Skin symptoms at the start of infection, mild itching and a popular dermatitis 
of the feet and other parts after swimming. Occasionally, central nervous system lesions occur. Continuing infection may cause granulomatose reaction and fibrosis in the affected organs, which may result in manifestations that include colonic polyposis with bloody diarrhea, schistosoma mansoni mostly, portal hypertension with hematemesis and splenomegaly, schistosoma mansoni, schistosoma japonicum, cystitis and ureteritis, schistosoma hematobium with hematuria, which can progress to blood cancer, pulmonary hypertension, schistosoma mansoni, schistosoma japonicum, more rarely schistosoma hematobium, glomerulonephritis and central nervous system lesions. A positive diagnosis is ensured by collaborating the epidemiological date, patient from an endemic area, clinical date, terminal and then permanent hematuria, and other characteristic clinical symptoms and signs, and lab exams. Hyperazinophilia very high, 15-50% in the toxemic stage, then lower to 15 percent. Proof of presence of characteristic X in the urine and feces, rectal biopsy material, proof of presence of specific seric antibodies through the tests. Paraclinical examination, simple abdominal radiography, urography, cystoscopy, urine exam and EDIS test. Functional renal exploration, ura culture. Schistosomiasis is treated using a single oral dose of the drug praziquantel annually. Control uh, of source of infection, treat the patient and domestic animal at the same time cut off the road of transmission, snail control, sanitary disposal of human excreta, protect of suspective people, avoid the contact with cystosoma infected water.